The same patterns I see in those who have like a mild head injury pattern are also the patterns I see in those who've had long-term sleep issues. Okay, wow. So every night that someone is sleeping with bad sleep apnea or horrible fragmented sleep, it's like a concussive blow to the brain. A lot of <laughs> concussions then. <laughs> Mike Bryan, it's great to see you here in New York. Thanks for having me. I'm Shane Criada. I'm Dr. Amen's sports psychiatrist and his sleep medicine doc. And the goal of this is to basically show you what you can do better. You're doing great with a lot of things in terms of your lifestyle and, and taking care of your health, but how can we get you to do even better? Mm -hmm. uh, you and your brother, Bob, are legends in, in tennis. I think uh, the most successful doubles duo in history. And obviously you're doing a lot of things right mentally to get you to that level. And in these years, you're also super busy, right? Your professional mm -hmm. career is one thing, but then you're doing so many other things, balancing parenthood, family life, traveling all over the place through the Olympics as well this year. I've been traveling a lot still in, in retirement with coaching, did the Olympics. I leave for China next week. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm ramping up a little bit with the travel. But um, yeah, you've helped me um, figure out how to kind of adjust quickly. And also you helped me kind of like get my environment right. And also kind of train my brain to know when it's time for sleeping. And so I get out of the bed when I wake up and I used to meditate in my bed. Ah. And um, I think that was kind of sending signals to my brain that the bed's not just for sleep, it's for, for other things. So that, that was also um, a huge tip. And I was also doing things you said you, you don't need to worry about that stuff anymore. So, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you know, you Good obviously better. read my book because you're yeah, speaking about I did that read stuff. Your book. I did read your book. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. You're actually yeah. implementing the plan. That's yeah. what I love about working with elite athletes like yourself. You will implement a plan if it's laid out for you and you're kind of shooting in the dark, as we all do. Mm. We're flooded with information online. There's so much of stuff out there, but how do we know what to actually? utilize yeah. what's personalized what's good for you may not be good for someone else but mm -hmm. you've you've come a long way and yeah. you know your sleep data shows it you're yeah. telling me you were waking up refreshed within six days of implementing the mm -hmm. plan really mm -hmm. remember that That's i said right. mike you're supposed to contact me in six weeks he said hey you say hey i'm feeling much better <laughs> yeah no i was just uh getting the rhythm going and, and starting to build confidence in the, the fact that once i hit the pillow you know, I'm not going to be waking up, you know, I was, I was waking up 10 to 15 times sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I just almost scared to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I mean, you, you really helped build that, that confidence. And, and now I'm, I'm going to bed more relaxed and, and it all happens here. That's amazing. Sure. You know, I always say I can be the, the coach, the sleep coach, but yeah. you're, you're the player in the field. You're the guy <laughs> in the bed, you're doing the hard work. So that's terrific. Today we look at your brain mm -hmm. and the way the Amen Clinics model works is based on the work of Dr. Daniel Amen, who paired integrative psychiatry or holistic psychiatry with neuroimaging. And the studies we do are called SPECT images. Mm -hmm. It's different from CTs or MRIs, which look at pictures of the brain, but here with SPECT imaging, we look at blood flow and activity levels. Blood flow, some areas need to be active. If they're overactive, you might have some symptoms. If they're underactive, you might have some symptoms. These scans, as I said, are not pictures of the brain. They look at blood flow and activity levels. The radio isotope that was injected was taken up by your brain. So the areas that are working strong light up good mm -hmm. and they look nice and smooth. If an area looks nice and smooth, it means it represents the top 45% blood flow areas. Cool. Awesome. No concerns there. If there's an area that looks a bit bumpy, looks like there's a divot or a hole, it does not mean there's a hole in the brain. 
Okay. <laughs> it means a drop in blood flow of more than 45% in that area. Okay. And then this is where we blend neuroimaging, neurophysiology, what different brain regions do with symptoms. That's as far as the surface scans are concerned. Okay. Smoothness, symmetry, shape, don't care about the color. Then I'm going to show you the emotional scans. Your color matters. Again, underside, right, left, top, down. Your, you see white, red, and blue. So white means very white hot activity, like white hot coal. I want to see the back of the brain white hot. It's called the cerebellum. It actually has 50% of the blood flow of the brain. Super active area. And tennis stimulates this area beautifully. Mm -hmm. Red is average activity areas, like red coal, and blue is cool or resting areas. So I want to see high activity here at the back of the brain. And deep inside the emotional areas, I want to see them red or blue. And if they're white and associated with healthy things like motivation, drive, success, okay? And then we can adjust our protocol based on where we're at and where your symptoms meet these findings. Perfect. All right. All right. Ready to see your brain? Let's go. <laughs> Let's All do right. it. All right. First, I'm going to show you your surface scan. Mike, this is your brain. Oops. <laughs> it looks pretty good overall. Okay. okay? There are some minor things and I get... Yeah. Super nitpicky with okay. these scans because I want to get you to be the best you could possibly be. Let me have it. Let me have it. All right. Okay. So there's a slight shadow here in the front. There's slight low, lower activity in the sides of the brain, what mm -hmm. I call the temporal lobes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And there's a bit of bumpiness here. Okay. This may also be seen in head injuries because in head injuries, as I said, the brain is as soft as butter. If like you are hit in the front of the head, the head, the brain mm. is the back of the skull and the sides are also hurt. However, other things can also result in a head injury pattern. And I've dealt with a lot of athletes who are in contact sports, boxers, MMA fighters. The same patterns I see in those who have like a mild head injury pattern are also the patterns I see in those who've had long-term sleep issues. Okay. Wow. So every night that someone is sleeping with bad sleep apnea or horrible fragmented sleep, it's like a concussive blow to the brain. I had a lot of <laughs> concussions then. <laughs> okay. You've been doing yeah, yeah. great in all yeah. these other aspects, right? Yeah. But sleep impacts every one of the bright mind's risk factors that we have. And deep sleep is necessary to flush toxins out that build up like the Alzheimer's toxins, beta amyloid. And dream sleep is necessary for memory consolidation. Mm -hmm. So this prefrontal cortex helps us with cognitive functioning and mood functioning, attention, concentration, executive functioning, task organization, planning, multitasking, time management, prioritizing things, processing speeds efficiently. Does a lot. Yeah. Does a lot. <laughs> All right, let's, let's send some blood flow up there. We can, <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. It can help us with motivation, yeah. drive, energy, yeah. social connectedness. So we're going to start strengthening this area even more. And the sides of the brain, the temporal lobes, the temples, mm. they help control our emotional pendulum. Okay. So more emotional stability, more rational thinking, seizing control from the emotional reactive hijacking that tends mm. to happen. And these are the main memory centers as well. Mm. Okay. So you're yeah. on some good supplements, but I'm going to tell you about a few more. I'll type those out for you. The doses are super important. Cool. One of the supplements is called Brain and Body Power Max that Dr. Eamon designed based on the NFL studies we had done back in the day. High dose fish oils. Now, fish oils, people take in any amounts. You need good quality. Okay. And the most important components are EPA and DHA. Mm. You need to com combine more than 3,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. According to the pool studies we've looked at, okay. that's where you have the most brain health benefits. So we're going to heal up the temporal lobes and the frontal lobes. There's some bumpiness at the top here. We call it scalloping. It's non-specific. It can be seen with inflammation, with head injuries, with sleep disruptions. So in addition to supplements, locking in your sleep timings. And I know you're traveling a bunch. It's an absolute pleasure to give you custom 
sleep recommendations, strategic napping rec- recommendations for whenever you're traveling. Just let me know your flight okay. times, duration, stopover times, yeah. time zone differences, and when you need to be at your peak, and I'll give you protocols around all that stuff. It's my bread and okay. butter. Okay, great. So you start planning before you leave and you do oh, yes. things on the plane, right when you hit the ground, you're, yeah, okay. Yeah. I had a few yeah. athletes who were traveling to Paris for the Olympics this year, and even Dr. Eamon, when he travels, he's like, Shane, I, yeah. let's, okay. let's get my sleep in I'll, order. I leave for China on Friday, so yeah. I think that's about Give a me the details. 12 hour time or even more. Yeah. So just text be... me what, what you need and your flight times and everything. And I'll give you some core strategies to implement. I'm going to show you the emotional scans. Remember I said, we need to understand the color there. And mm. I want to see a white hot back of the brain, the cerebellum, which is half the brain's blood flow and calm red or blue emotional circuits. This is your emotional brain. Not seeing a lot of white on the, on the back here. Okay. Are, are you, is yeah. that enough? Is yeah. that enough white? There? I want to see more white. Yeah, here. more white. You're right. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. Thanks for paying attention uh, earlier. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, does that mean the my emotions are kind of they're fluctuating, or they're they're maybe I don't have enough emotion and I'm more robotic, or so the cerebellum has the same functions as the front part of the brain that you saw over here. Okay. Attention, concentration, executive functioning, task organization, planning, motivation, drive, social connectedness. So the same things we do to strengthen the frontal lobes will help strengthen the cerebellum. Nice. Okay. Makes our lives so easier. So some supplements you can mm-hmm. get a little bit more white back here and more blood flow and exactly and emotion. Okay. The cerebellum is also critical for hand-eye coordination and balance. Think tennis. Okay. <laughs> so what would you say? At looking at this is is this like a a B minus or a C plus or? <laughs> It's clinical context. So these are your stress responders, your basal ganglia. All right. Now these can be overactive in people who have healthy stress, who are motivated and driven to do more. And when you see an imbalance here, one is whiter than the other. It can also be seen in those who can be more predisposed to situational overwhelm. Mm -hmm. Letting the thermostat go way too far in the up region, swing way too wide on one side. The sides of the brain, the temporal lobes, if I see them overactive over here, I see, well, okay, that tells me your emotional pendulum has a tendency to swing wider than you'd like it to. Mm -hmm. But also these areas are not quite hot and they're not clinically correlated with panic attacks or mental breakdowns or anything like that. So they're within the healthy ranges. And I suspect it's because you've trained your brain yeah. through yeah, these years. Yeah. Yeah. I've been meditating for probably 25 years and before every match and I played 1600 matches on tour and, um, and then during the match, you have to calm your, your nervous system and regulate your emotions in between points. And yeah, so probably helped some of this. Absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely helped big time. And this is something your wife, Nadia, might be interested in, in knowing about. This is the ACG, the anterior cingulate gyrus. What does this do? It's the brain's gear shifter. Hmm. So if it's overactive, you might get stuck in certain thought cycles. Okay. Cause I don't see that's not lit up on this normal, healthy st- uh, scan. That's right. Yeah. So it gets overactive. You can get stuck in certain thought cycles. You have a hard time letting things go. You know, Roger Federer had that five second rule after a point. Yeah, yeah. So five seconds, think about the point. Five seconds, nothing. Five seconds, think about the next point. Mm. You've trained your brain to do better with this, but you may get stuck on certain things. You might be a little nitpicky. And you've learned how to be more flexible. Is there any supplements for that (laughs) That part of the brain? There are actually. Okay. Yeah, supplements that help with serotonin can mm-hmm. help modulate the activity okay. in this area. So, so like uh, 5-HTP, um, B6, I'd use a pyridoxal phosphate, actually, um, B5P instead of B6. Okay. It's more biologically attuned with your body. Mm-hmm. BrainMD makes something called SMS, serotonin mood support. that has 5-HTP. Tryptophan can also help make more serotonin. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So with low serotonin, that lights up a little more? The- yes. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right, good. And this middle portion here is the deep limbic system. It's your mood manager. 
it's kind of like the brightest structure in your brain. And this area can be overacting people who are hardworking, have high standards, who are perfectionistic. Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it yeah, yeah, to yeah. be so successful, right? Yeah, I know. That's what uh, drove me to achieve great things on the court. But um, yeah, you, you can't always be in that gear. And you got to have uh, be able to turn it on, turn it off. And you need a little bit of balance. So yeah, that's what I'm figuring out beyond the baseline is that, um, yeah, you, you have to be able to uh, let things go and uh, not be a perfectionist. And I want to ask you if you have any questions for me. Like, what do you think about the scans? What do you think about what we've spoken thus far? Is there anything else I've not covered? No, I'm I'm, I'm blown away by what you can see um, with these scans. And um, I've always just been so curious about it. And um, I've always just been a little worried, like kind of like in the back of my mind, I've been like, okay, my brain doesn't stack up against the rest because all the wear and tear from traveling, bad sleep, taking anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, you just, you just wonder um, and, and you kind of worry. So this kind of puts me a little bit at peace that it's not as bad as I kind of thought, but there's also things you can do for it. And I've, I've learned a tremendous amount. And um, it's great that you can take supplements for, for blood flow for the, for the brain. And then uh, we're talking about hyperbaric oxygen and the sleep. And yeah, I just want to move in the right direction and be the best I can be for uh, my family and, and uh, see if I can uh, achieve something off the court too. It's such an honor and privilege to know you and, and work with you and congratulations on all your success and all the success that's yet to come. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful to that we met online and now that we have a great friendship and we're meeting up at the, at the Grand Slams and uh, yeah, I've learned so much from you and, and thanks for showing me all about my brain. And so I'm looking forward to working at it. You have a great brain. Yeah. It's going to get better. Thank you.